Hey guys, Nick here. Welcome back to another Payday 2 build video where we will be going over the Hacker Perk Deck. I hope you guys enjoy this one as I believe that Hacker is one of the best perk decks in the game. Before I continue, I do want to give a few quick shout outs. First off, shout out to Ace on YouTube, specifically this hacker video right here. I've been using this hacker build for quite some time, um, except that I made some adjustments and it's going to be in the build that I'm showing you today. I made some adjustments to the actual skills that I'll be using and uh, I believe some of the attachments as well, just to kind of what I personally prefer. So although our builds are different at this point, um, it is where I got the initial idea of what to run and it didn't feel right not plugging this video is this is where i got that from so it's an awesome video check out ace's channel he's got some amazing content over there also want to shout out the guys in the discord specifically addy drayload slenderface and i think there's more that i just unfortunately can't remember i think olaf helped as well uh thanks for helping out with the video guys and suffering through desod white house for me i know that was a pain but i appreciate you guys besides that that's it for me subscribe if you haven't already that lets me know you guys enjoy the content and want more and i'll see you in the next one peace out How's it going everybody? My name is Nick. Welcome back to another Payday 2 build video. Today, we're going over the Hacker Perk Deck. I believe today is episode 21 of our Perk Deck series. We're getting very close to the end and I'm happy with all of you guys that stuck along with me all the way through this build series. But without further ado, today is all about Hacker. First, we're going to take a look at a quick overview of the build. Then we're going to take a look at the skills, the Perk Deck, and the weapons. So to start things off, we're gonna have our armor, it's the two-piece suit, first aid kit for our equipment, the AK-17 rifle for our primary and the Mark 10 submachine gun for our secondary, the pocket ECM because we're using hacker and the buzzer, we don't have any melee skills anyways, so it's not that big a deal. So we'll be using the buzzer for good concealment and we'll go over skills in a second, but as you can see, there's a lot in ghosts and a kind of equal amount in mastermind and technician. We're gonna be using combat medic basic, Quick Fix Basic, Painkillers Ace, Uppers Ace, and Inspire Ace. It's always good to have painkillers combined with Inspire. In my early build videos, I quickly got cooked for that. So yeah, don't be me. In Enforcer, I'll have Resilience Basic, Die Hard Basic, and Bullseye Basic. Now the thing with this is you could always Ace Resilience for the uh, reducing the visual effects of the flashbangs, which I typically do, but I do think it's important with Suit to be able to have that 50% less damage while interacting with objects. Can be helpful and save you in a couple different situations, and then Bullseye to help a little bit with survivability. Scavenger Basic for Ammo Box Pickup. In Technician, we'll be using Steady Grip Ace, Surefire Ace, Lock and Load Basic and body expertise aced. In ghosts, we'll have duck and cover aced with inner pockets and parkour basic, dire need aced, and SB aced as well. Now, a couple controversial things. Um, one, with this being a health deck, I know a lot of people have mentioned uh, bringing partners in crime ace to help with that extra health, and that could absolutely be a valid option, one that is not a bad choice by any means. Um, for me personally, once you get used to hacker, I don't feel like you struggle too much with with regenerating your health, being careful, taking care of enemies before, you know, you think you're going to get downed or before you're, you know, able to get behind cover. Um, so I feel pretty confident with Hacker. So if you are struggling with that, then maybe you could always take off Unseen Strike and uh, maybe Optical Illusions Ace or, uh, and configure your weapons a little bit more or something like that uh, to be able to get up to Partners in Crime Ace. But for me personally, that's not something I want. And also some people have said that you don't need SB at all or that you can just go basic or, you know, to bring down your weapons or, you know, whatever, what have you. Um, but that extra dodge does do a lot for you. It doesn't feel like it. It doesn't maybe always look like it. But when you're looking at like your numbers, saying that, you know, when you're trying to dodge things and you have that uh, good concealment, then it just it helps a lot more. So what I would suggest to you, if you don't believe me, play a match with it and without it. Record both if you have the capability. See how much more you dodge with it. It will surprise you. I have own footage of me uh, show, kind of showing the difference. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments below. I can always upload that. Besides that, that's what I've got there. And then, of course, in Fugitive, we've got Nine Lives Aced. So, the Hacker Perk deck. Now, if you haven't heard of Hacker yet, you're really missing out. <laughs> this is genuinely, um, there's some debate there, I guess, but it's definitely one of the strongest perk decks in the game, 
especially if you're running dodge if you're not if you're running dodge and you're wanting to run meta if you're not using sicario or hacker you're really missing out what hacker does is it gives you a pocket ecm i'm sure you guys have used the ecm equipment before it allows you to jam if you're still in stealth it allows you to jam uh pagers and etc etc different things i don't need to go over it i'm sure the pocket ecm does the same thing and it goes on for a short period of time in stealth but also in loud it will work and it will cause enemies to be stunned for a certain period of time so card one you'll unlock that pocket ecm card three you get that extra 20 percent health now here's where the important thing of hacker comes in card five gives you um, an extra you'll regenerate 20 health when you kill an enemy while the feedback is going you get two charges and it will regenerate over a certain period of time the more kills you get the faster it will recharge like a lot of our different builds that we get with uh you know equipment or throwables that we're going to be using with our perk decks then it also increases our chance to dodge card seven killing at least one enemy while the feedback is active will grant 20 dodge for 30 seconds so every time you activate that loop or that feedback you're going to want to be able to get at least one kill not only does it help with your health if you're down a little bit um obviously the more kills you get the more health you'll get but it'll also guarantee that you're going to get an extra 20 dodge for 30 seconds in card nine uh crew members if they get kills as well while the feedback is going it will regenerate 10 health and your chance to dodge is increased by an additional 15 percent with that card so that means we're getting a ton of dodge you're getting an extra 20 dodge if you kill at least one enemy while the feedback is going and you can just be going crazy with it. and i think uh if you'll watch with my ui that i have uh, with vanilla hud plus during the gameplay it, you should be able to see that i actually i think i get up to 120 dodge which is really good <laughs> um it's crazy because with sicario you can do the same thing with ictv check out the sicario video if you haven't if you want more dodge builds hacker you can do some insane stuff so with that let's go ahead and take a look at some weapons and then we'll look at some d side gameplay as well so for our primary, we'll be using the AK-17 rifle. You can take a look at stats here if you'd like. In our barrel extension, we'll be using the bigger the better suppressor. In our boost, we'll have the concealment boost on, but also you could opt for the accuracy boost if that would work out better for you. In the custom, we'll have the auto fire for extra damage. You do go down a little bit in accuracy, um, but it gives us plus eight in stability. For a gadget, we'll have the compact laser module. In our grip, we'll actually have the AK rubber grip, gives us more stability, and it gives us plus two in concealment. Speed pull magazine. Secondary sight, you can always put one on. Most of these are going to be uh, increasing your stability. I'm already at 100 stability, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but you could always do 45 degree iron sight if you need a little bit more concealment and then you could equip something else such as like the accuracy boost or something like that in 2020 hindsight that's probably what i should have done but i'm used to this gun by now anyway so whatever our site will actually be using the speculator site that's what i personally prefer and what i love using but you can use other sites if you like as long as you're just keeping that concealment down and keeping that stability and accuracy up you're good to go and then for the stock i actually equip the vd12 stock to give us plus four in accuracy to make that minus four in accuracy earlier null and void for our secondary we'll be using the mark 10 submachine gun you can pause here if you like and i've gone over this thing a million times at this point so you're probably familiar with what we're going for but we'll be using the bigger the better suppressor accuracy for our boost for our custom we'll be using auto fire for accuracy it'll go down for our damage to go up in one instability will be plus eight for our gadget we'll be using the compact laser module so it doesn't affect our concealment you could equip a railed handguard if you want but just keep in mind that one we don't really need any stability but you'll go down in concealment so that may not be the best option for you we're using the speed pool magazine got to be able to reload that faster it also gives us plus eight in our magazine which isn't a bad thing you can always equip a secondary site if it's available to you. Currently with my getup, it is not. And for site, I have nothing. And for stock, I have the skeletal stock. It gives us plus 12 in stability and plus four in accuracy. Now that I've shown you everything to do with the build and how we're gonna be using it, let's go and take a look at some D-side gameplay. Okay, friends. All right. We're going to be touching down Hacker time, baby. Slender! <laughs> He's just, ah! <laughs> He's just hanging out in the middle there. That's funny. Shout out to the boys in the Discord. Link down in the description if you want to join the Discord. Playing with us today. Oh! Rip Slender. He's gone. And don't get too close to the Murkies. You may be wearing their uniforms, but these are their top agents, and know their own. Found red. Okay, cool. So we got red there. 
And... Uh, I know I can spawn back there. I can spawn in that hallway. Let's see if it's down here. Got a package, so that's fancy. Oh, he said he found green. I just didn't see it. Get the fuck up. Oh, they... I guess they just weren't affected, like, at all. Alright. We found the boxes pretty quick this time. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get into here. Looks like we got Slender joining back. That's not good. Probably didn't need to use my pocket you see him for that, but hey, you know what? It's fine. Okay. We got that. Open. Open. Open up. Open. Dragon, open it up. Poor Slenderface, man. He's, uh, he's having a hard time. Probably need to actually let them in so I can grab their ammo, but it's fine. Trying to avoid using ammo bags the best that I can. Do -do 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 -do. Wow, this thermite takes forever. There we go. Thank you, Addy. Too bad. Grab that ammo while I can. No 
snipers yet, it looks like. Pop that again, get rid of this dozer. Dragon's gonna get him. I can hit him. There we go. Get the fuck up. What? What? What is that? I can't, I can't get in front of his visor. <laughs> Die, man. Okay. He would have died. That's a dozer, and I'm just shooting into a chair. There we go. Maybe I'm just a bad host. Everybody keeps disconnecting. Medico, what? Oh, he died. That's what happened. Okay, okay. Oh, what? Ah, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it just to make myself feel safe. And time to go. Nice. Where's he at? I'll get him. Get the fuck up. Hey, follow me, There you go. Good work, Dragon. But we'll have to hack our way into this one. Help me hack into the mainframe computer. Maybe I can take care of the vault from there. Get patched up. Okay, I'm in. Give me a little time. I dropped an ammo bag over here. That's my kingpin main right there. <laughs> Going in. Oh, that's a that's a dozer. I don't want it. <laughs> Not that I can do about that, really, but. Woo. Do, 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 do. Taser down. Taser down. Ow. Ow, ow. and get my extra dodge going there. Man, this hack's been feeling like it's taken forever. Alright, come on in, buddy. I don't know who you are, but whatever. Ooh. 
stay up. Finally. Now you just got to go inside the vault. Okay, well that went better than I was expecting. I was expecting to at least have another down in there. Now this part might be rough for me. Sitting in one place for a hacker can be tough. I can't come and get you while they have active air defenses online. You've got to go and deactivate them. Medic first aid kit deployed. First aid kit here. First aid kit deployed. Well, that was a bad. That was a bad pocket ECM on my part. Body bag case. Yo, yeah, what? I already have the max amount. Sorry, man. Don't need those. And there was... Would have been a down. Go ahead and patch myself up. Bruh. <laughs> all good we're good we're good <clears throat> this guy must have thought we were doing south or something there we go ah. anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video as you can see Hacker is a pretty good perk deck that when utilized correctly can get you through even the toughest heists on the hardest difficulty. With that, that's it for me. Addy's got to go take a shower, so he's out of here too. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.